wherever we want to go, our feet shall take us there. This is Kason Demwenda, the president for the Economic Freedom Fighters. Today we are at University of Zambia, Great East Road campus, and today we have come out of a concern of the abandoned hostels. We have learned with sadness that once upon a time, over eight years ago, the government of the Republic of Zambia embarked on constructing 26 hostels for this big university, our biggest university in the country, because there's acute shortage of uh, bed spaces. Right now, the University of Zambia has got over 30,000 students, and those are all fighting for, for 3,700 bed spaces. This initiative was going to make this great university have an extra capacity of 4,160 bed spaces. Alas, that good initiative today remains abandoned, forsaken, and in serious dilapidation. We'll take a tour and see how much we are losing revenue, how much we are letting to waste the resources that have been plowed here. And it's a momently time to this government to know that as education has been prioritized, it is incumbent on them to start awakening these sleeping giants because education cannot be fulfilled without infrastructure and without the necessary needed materials, especially infrastructure. So today we are doing a tour of the 26 hostels abandoned here at Lusaka's Great East Road campus for the University of Zambia. Let's take a walk and let's see. This is but just one of them, of the hostels. There are 27, 26 in number. And they were going to boost and sort out the problem of accommodation, which cannot be overemphasized because this country, the population for the youth is growing rapidly and the learning institutions cannot absorb them. But today it is a forest of what once was a plan to increase the capacity of learning students under the government schemes and in particular the University of Zambia. Today this place when you visit it, this is where I am right now, this is the ground floor for one of the hostels. It is overgrown by weeds um, and it's being used just like a toilet. You, you can't enter these spaces, they are, they are all littered with uh, fecal matter. It is very unfortunate. Let's go to the first floor of this one of the them abandoned and neglected hostels here at the University of Zambia, Zambia's biggest uh, learning institution. These initiatives can, if actualized, can actually make our education sector improve abundantly. This was a project that was pegged at 53 million. Unfortunately, all that money is going just west. This is the graffiti and the rooms are just all littered with fecal matters. To make matters worse, look, it's just all littered with fecal matter. To make matters worse, uh, this place has not even been barricaded so anyone can access them and do vandalism. These are initiatives that should call us to expedite and finish so that the youth who are actually just in homes right now uh, can be in school. Not everybody can afford to be in private learning institutions. Some of us are products of public institutions like this one, the Copper Belt University, UNSA. So such a project which now is going to waste a colossal 26 hostels with capacity of 4,000 160 bed spaces, a bigger capacity than what the university has currently, which is only at 3,700 student bed space capacity. These new hostels, once completed, we are going to absorb a much bigger proportion of 4,000, that's the other hostel, equally abandoned. And unfortunately, when you abandon a construction at this stage, we know it becomes a wastage because those reinforcements that we are seeing are now becoming rusty. And before long, those elements are being exposed to weather elements. This, they are being exposed to weather elements and 
Before long, these will be unusable. They will need to be broken down and replaced. All those reinforcement members. I can tell you as an architect to reach here where this structure has been reached, a lot of money has gone in. All this now. This is wastage. And this project has stored for a very long time. Those others are still just with the columns there. Those look like pad foundations. Ish. Unless we have a spirit that makes us finish whatever we start, there is no way we are going to develop this country. Those are conduit pipes for electrical installations, which still remain unfinished. Even, even at the topmost floor here, you still see that the whole place is just being used as a toilet, just full of uh, fecal matter. You can see the mixers, there are concrete mixers have been abandoned. They are not being used. And these are the resources that we so much are running after to go and borrow. And when money comes, we let it go to waste like this. How can we develop? We need to change our mindset as a country and start using our resources properly, putting money where it is most required. It has been for a long time that we have been starting things and not finishing. So we won't be surprised to hear that even this new government may come up with projects which they also want to finish, neglecting these cardinal projects that we are started not by the Patriotic Front, but by the government of the Republic of Zambia. These are not PF resources. These are resources for this country. These monies were borrowed. And unless this government takes responsibility and start doing the right thing, we are wasting money. And if we keep going through such circles, this country will not develop. This is one project that we cannot overemphasize. The importance is known unless we start finishing. So I'm challenging this new Don government that they have this project before they can kickstart other projects. They should prioritize this and make sure this. When you leave uh, the enforcement members like this to other elements, you are wasting a lot of money. All these abandoned like this we are wasting a lot of money and the time we try to start this project we need to redo a lot of works i can see those conduit pipes have even been cut these members this is wastage we cannot let as a country and i'm employing this government and us as a youth being the leader for our generation of youth my cry is that let this government preserve our heritage we want when the time comes for us to take over government we'll be taking over a government that we can prosper that we can move we don't want to spend all our times doing remedial works going back let this government take us forward not backwards the honeymoon is over it is time we need to see movements in such projects the honeymoon for this government we are emphasizing is over it is time to work and to we'll point to them where, where they need to work because they've been saying as the opposition we are not giving them checks and balance we'll tour this country we'll go to each and every corner of this country and show them how i have done this before i've toured this country before we are not starting this on the upnd rest they turn it aside and think it's something personal this is personal because it con concerns our country zambia and unless we Zambians stand up and claim that which is right for this country, we are but wasting our time. We'll be going through the same circles over and over. So this project has stalled for over 10 years and the population is unforgiving and we cannot continue in this same trajectory. Look, like this. This is very unfortunate. We cannot continue. We can, this is Zambia's biggest uh, learning institution and we have such seriously abandoned projects we cannot continue under this trajectory so the time is now it is now or never and this government should quickly act and put resources where they are not what we are seeing where now they are just putting things we have seen a lot of misuse of the cdf money being given to people that are wasting it there are some bridges that i saw in western province that have been washed away and you could see as a professional that they were being handled by people who were clueless so even this money for cdf it is our challenge to this government use it prudently professionally expertly because these resources are borrowed from the imf imf will not forgive us they are unforgiving once they lend you money you have to pay 
So we are challenging this government. Let them be professional. Let them use these meager resources we have as a country. Apply to enhance the lives of the youth. But youth ever they chula sana sana. Put money in the youth, then this country will have a future. We have lost a lot of time as a country, and it's time we prioritize the well-being of the youth. Most of these people, I'm getting shocked when they are moving around the country. They are talking about the, um, the deals they are clinching as individuals, and we are wondering, why are they spending time clinching individuals' deals when they are on public mission? when they're supposed to be clinching deals for this country. So this tendency, I'm speaking to the president, Mr. Haka Indechilema, talk to your ministers, talk to your staff. They are coming on social media and telling us about the deals they are clinching, personal deals, the great people they are meeting out there when they are. They are not talking about the deals they are clinching for this country. They are standing with prominent people and they are saying, once we get these deals, see how they are having connections. So we are challenging the president. Let us put our resources. Only together when we act can we take this country far. This has been Kasonde Mwenda, the president for the Economic Freedom Fighters, here at the Great East Road campus of the University of Zambia, where there has been acute shortage of accommodation, where there are over 30,000 uh, students against 3,700 bed spaces. This was a project of 26 hostels that was going to give us 4,100 bed spaces, and that would have gone a good step to cushion the crisis that is here. It is time to work. It is now or never, and wherever we want to go, our feet shall take us there. God bless you all, and God bless Zambia. Thank you.